guys, we're back again with another rapid chess video against Sai Kapot. Let's go with E4. And he has some games on his account, yeah. So he goes for a perk. Let's take control of the center. Will we see knight d7 or knight f6 or g6? Okay, knight f6. So g6. Um, hmm. Okay, let's play f4. f4 is supposedly the best way to play this. Okay, so we see c5. And now I know you're supposed to play... Um, uh, I think you're supposed to play d takes here. And then they play queen a5 and you play... What do you play? Okay, I'm going to go for it because I think that's the line. I'm not sure what to play. Okay, queen a5. For some reason, I forgot what to play here. Is it bishop e5 check? I know this position is supposedly supposed to be pretty good for me. Bishop e5 check, knight d7, castles. And if he takes here, then I have e5. I think I'm supposed to be better. Or is the line... Yeah, I think it's bishop b5 check. If bishop d7, obviously I take take. And then I think that that position is very good for me. Okay, he does that anyways. Hmm. So now... Okay, if I castle though, he has queen c5 check. And then here... Okay, maybe I messed this position up slightly. Um, I do remember queen d4 as well being a move, but then he just takes here, queen c4. It's interesting. Here, here, takes. Well, oh no, here, there, I just take here. So, queen c here, here, takes, takes. Yeah, that shouldn't be good for me. So, I'll just castle. Queen x c5, king h1. I think I should be slightly worse there, but it shouldn't be playable. I definitely have a worse position, but I'll look at this line after the game. Hopefully I can remember my theory. Okay, knight g4 threatening here. Also, he wants some sort of uh, uh, take here. That's a pretty good move. I think I'm going to play queen e1, just looking to go here, also protecting this. Also preparing h3, bishop, e bishop e3. And not allowing here. So, yeah, queen e1 should be the best move by far. And yeah, so takes here. I guess I can take here with the queen and get a slightly worse position. Or I can take here with the bishop. And maybe even bring the my pieces out like this. And uh, he has really weak dark squares. So I think, yeah, I don't like knight g4 actually. But maybe it's a good move. Instead of knight g4, I thought he would castle. Probably I'd still play queen e1 because I want to play bishop h3. Or uh, sorry, bishop e3. Maybe I would play any other move. No, I don't really see another move there other than queen e1. So yeah, bad opening by me, but I seem to have not got punished. I'm not sure what to do against this c5 line, actually. I do know this line you're supposed to take. Maybe bishop e5 is wrong here. Um, what is the move here? Because I know that after takes, this is just lost for white. Is it queen d4? Now I'm thinking. Okay, I don't remember the line here. It's a pretty complicated line. And uh, generally, I prefer not to study these types of lines. Okay, so he puts some pressure here. I feel like that's actually wrong. So h3, he has to go back, and then I play bishop h here. Anything wrong with that? Because if takes, takes, and then he moves back. Okay, I guess he can do that. But hmm, maybe I have a trick. Okay, I guess actually I don't have a trick. I was thinking that after h3, knight f6, or sorry, h h3 takes here, um, uh, takes here. Knight f6. I thought I had bishop ace here and then takes here. But I don't think I have that anymore because after he takes on c2, he, he also takes here. So wait, if he does take that, then... Okay, let me calculate. Hmm, okay, so h3 takes, takes, oops, takes, takes. 
knight f6, putting pressure on this pawn. Bishop h3 takes here, takes here, takes here, takes here. And yeah, I'm down a pawn. So other option is bishop d2. Yeah, okay, bishop d2 seems fine, actually. I'll just play that. Obviously, he's not going to take, but I'll pre-move it if he does. Because if he takes, his dark squares are weak. So here I expect castles, h3, knight f6, bishop b3, um, queen b queen. Well, yeah, his queen doesn't have a good square to go to. So maybe I actually play a3 so his queen has to go back. Well, no, I don't, because I then have knight d5, I think. So after castles here, h3, knight f6, I was thinking bishop e3, but then queen b4. So castles, h3, knight f6, bishop e3, bishop, queen b4. And I think that's actually a bad position for me. Okay, h5, that is a not a very good move, I don't think. But after h3, he wants to play knight here, I guess. It also weakens f5. Okay. Let's play h3 because this seems to be a free move. All the squares are covered, so he has to go here or here. And then I can decide what to do next. I don't really think he's in the position to play like g5 at all, so h5 seems like a pretty bad move to me. And I have pressure here, but after knight f6, there will be less pressure. And I think actually after knight f6, I'm going to play this a3 move. Like, seemingly doing nothing, but I just don't want to allow queen b4. Because after bishop e3, queen b4, I don't see how I defend, really. So yeah, a3 on knight f6. Maybe queen c4 is played there. Yeah, queen c4 actually an annoying move. Hmm, yeah, he has queen c4. Forgot about that. Because it just basically hampers my position slightly. Oh, well, I guess I have after a3, queen c4. Mm, yeah, actually, I don't have anything. I might play queen e3, just looking to connect the rooks. Also pressure here, so after something like uh, knight b6 or b6, then I can play rook e1 and try to break with f5. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Yeah, queen c4 also is just a pretty slow move. The, I the idea, I think, is to put pressure more on this pawn so I can't drag over my queen this side. And also to uh, prevent my queen from going to e2. But yeah, actually, queen c4 is a pretty slow move. Okay, so he plays there. Yeah, I forgot the knight was not hanging, actually. But is this knight going to c4? Yeah, I guess that's a good move as well. So if I take this, and he takes back, and I play here, am I losing this knight? I'm not sure whether I'm losing that knight or not. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Because I'm thinking he goes knight here. Hmm. Yeah, and the f4 pawn covers it. Okay, I don't really see his plan. On this. Knight c4. I'll just go knight d5. Any trade of queens is favorable to me, I think. Okay, queen there. Um... This does not feel right to me because I just have queen here. And, um, yeah. That's my only move, I think. So now I expect knight c4. And I will play bishop c1. Yeah, dominating the knight a little bit. My position should be pretty okay. I just have to make sure this bishop never gets here. Like, if he plays e5, I always play f5. Never, ever take here. So, yeah, here I'm up a piece, and now I have to consolidate. Okay, f5. What is the idea of f5? What is the idea of f5? It's to put pressure on this pawn. 
on this pawn because now he's wanting to take take and get some stuff like that but I do not really see a problem that it causes me granted I think what he has in compensation is that all my pieces are tied down I wouldn't be surprised if this position is actually just losing for me hmm I kind of want to bring the bishop Maybe I should have bring the bishop to e1 and then to here and like this. So I could release my queen's duty here. But I don't know. Okay, so now I'm thinking I'll take take and play knight d4. In intending to play c3 and then like maybe knight e3, putting pressure on this. But actually. Yeah, and then knight e3 and trade off some pieces. So takes, yeah, so takes, takes with the queen, then takes here is, is lost. Wait, actually, no, I can't take here because my knight's pinned. But yeah, he does this anyway. So now I'm thinking here, followed by c3 and here. So knight d5, what can he do? Obviously, he shouldn't take here because then I have takes, takes, and like rook e1, putting pressure on this. And he has to defend it. And actually, maybe he can do that, but doesn't look right to me. Well, actually, he can't because I have knight of 6 there. Yeah, so I'm going to play knight d5. Wouldn't be surprised if he fell for the trick of takes, 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 rook e1 putting pressure here, and then he plays like rook a7 and runs into this. That would be a pretty nice end to this, but I didn't think he should sack the, the pieces, especially since he only has two pieces attacking. These other pieces have really no good way of getting in. And yeah, wait, actually, I didn't even consider if he just plays rook here. Because here, he can go he can go takes here with his bishop. Takes it. No, he can't actually do that because then the rook hangs in the end. Okay, so I'm fine. So rook c5, I go here and just trade this piece off. But he actually has knight e5 there. Yeah. Rook f4. Well, no, he doesn't have knight e5 there because I go rook f4, rook c4, knight e1, defending here and also defending this with my bishop. And then I play c3 and bishop e3, rook d1. So, yeah, sorry if I'm being uh, slightly complicated at the moment. This position really requires a lot of thought. Very complex position. Yeah, and there's no other way to get this bishop in the game. The bishop wants to be on this diagonal, but it just can't be. So other than that, he can't really take here because, I, as I said, I had rook e1. And actually, maybe I bring this rook to e1. Yeah, probably. His king being in the center is a big weakness. Rook c8, I think, was not a great move. So this position, I think, is better for me, but maybe plus one or two. Probably. Though, these positions are so complex that it's going to be very hard to judge. Yeah, also with this, actually, I think he had bishop f6 here, forcing a draw. Yeah, he just had bishop f6, I think. Okay, so he goes there. So he wants to play e6. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Now I'm going to play c3, just avoiding any sacrifices. I think that's good. Also preventing the bishop from coming to d4 in some positions. And next I can play like bishop e3, bishop g1. Or knight e3, maybe, what would he do? Okay, he goes there. Confusing me. Oh yeah, he wants the devil. Oh, I'm not sure how to stop that actually. Yeah, how do I stop him from just winning the piece back? Didn't really consider that, did I? Yeah, maybe c3 is too slow. I didn't see this idea. Um, okay, now I think I may be lost. Maybe. Though, granted, he still only has a few pieces doing these things. He still will be down some material.
two. I'm gonna go bishop e three. Takes takes. Obviously, if he goes rook g eight, okay, yeah, this runs into this. He should have taken, and then we would go into an endgame where I'd win f5 and likely win this, be up a pawn, I think. Probably. But now I think I'm just winning. Okay. Knight d2, and then knight f3 scared me. Or sorry, knight d2, and then knight e4 was uh, scary. Not sure how I disallow that. If I play queen here... Yeah, this position is really tough. Actually, I can move my queen to like f5. I just realized. Because if takes, 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 takes here, there's no g3. And if takes, I just go here. Yeah, so now I think I can move my queen away. But where do I want to move it? If I go here, I, I wanna, I'm wanna. i threatening the knight. If he goes here, I can go queen e2. And then threaten this as well. So yeah, queen d3. Looks good to me. Yeah, there was, I think he had to win the exchange like this. So I'll take here in case he does take. So knight h5. Or knight. What square is that? a5, sorry. Okay, that is not a good move, I don't think. Okay, I'm going to go rook e8. This position is very bad for me, but I think it's survivable. Well, I don't even think it's very bad. I think it's just very hard to play for white. My position is is very cramped, and there's not an obvious way to do things. Yeah, I can't go knight d3 because then he can take take check here and then play g3, and I'm and I'm dead there. So I have to play knight b4. I think knight b4. I could also play knight c7 to here because I'm thinking knight here e5 and then i can take it okay well i'll go here just stopping knight c6 i have to keep an eye on g3 next i think i'm going to play g3 myself and then maybe rook here something like that okay he wants to go to c5 okay i'll if i move my queen away though then he does i do have a problem oh i'm also really low on time um okay g3 knight c5 to e4 is definitely coming then I'll be in some trouble. Yeah, I've got to hurry up because this is 1-0. Knight c5 takes here, actually, is what happens. Yeah, I'll pressure both these points. Um, give a check. He can't take because I've take here. Bishop takes. I've traded more pieces off. Okay, I have to take this. Then I thought I'm infiltrating now. I also just want to play sort of quickly because the quicker I play, the more he'll likely think. Um, just create some random threats. Okay. Protect this threat in bishop c5. Rook d2, then bishop c5, probably. Just trying to play fast now. Okay, he blunders this with check. Just want to play slightly faster because he is not in a great position. And also, I'm down time so it'll be hard to play this position defended that there's no infiltration squares um okay he's not threatening anything i'll create play c4 and create a pass pawn okay he doesn't allow me he also hung that oops that was an accident But here I should be winning. And yeah, the most important thing here is to just play fast. Don't see how he defends this easily. Yeah, and he's getting really low on time. So 
this should be good for me. Okay, he runs out of time. So, yeah, pretty lucky win, honestly. I feel like I might have been in some trouble. Yeah, okay, I was in a little bit of trouble, but not sure. Yeah, he was definitely winning with e6. Thought I would have to play uh, bishop g1. <coughs> okay, but let's look at the position. So g6, f4, bishop g7, knight f3, and yeah, c5. So, okay, so dxc5 was the wrong move, I guess. Oh, wait, no, well, it's still playable. But yeah, I had bishop b5 checked first. That was the line I remembered. Queen a5. And here, bishop d3. Okay, I didn't even consider that. Yeah, that's a pretty natural move. Yeah, bishop d3. Queen xc5. Yeah, queen e2 threatening bishop e3. Castles and bishop e3. Makes sense, but... Yeah, this is the type of position that... White just has a space advantage. And can castle both ways. But I mixed up my lines and played here. And here I'm supposed to play bishop d3. Okay. Castles. And this position I thought was slightly better for him. But apparently I'm still better. And knight g4. Yeah, this I feel was a mistake. Yeah, and didn't like castles. Just just finish your development before going for things like this. And yeah, arguably queen here helps me. And here I thought I was maybe slightly worse. h5 is a really committal move. But yeah, I didn't see this knight b6 idea admittedly. But, okay, so this is just bad for me. Okay, I'll remember that. Knight h4, threatening to play this. Or rook d1. Okay, those are both good moves. hx, knight h2, rook here. Yeah, that I thought was bad. Yeah, knight c4, I guess it's just winning. Though, yeah, queen h5, queen g3, knight c4, bishop c1. f5 is the best move. Knight xb2. Oh yeah, that was a pretty pretty cool move because after knight xb2, I can't really take back due to the fact that he has bishop takes, takes, and takes here. And my queen can't keep on this. Nice tactic. So instead, after this, I'd have to defend it. Or play knight d5, yeah, and probably lose that way. But he missed that and so did I. And yeah, here actually, I think I said it was like plus two. So I guess I completely misevaluated the position. Didn't think this was as bad as it was. And yeah, here I'm supposed to play rook e1 and e6. Knight e3, rook here. Oh yeah, he has he has takes there. So he has to go bishop f6. In which case I take here, take here, and play bishop e3. Oh yeah, bishop h4 traps my queen. So knight xg4, then f5. Okay, that's a pretty cool idea. Didn't consider this, but... Yeah, here I guess I was just completely lost. The sacrifice is not acceptable. Yeah, so that was not a good move, I guess. But sometimes, practically, it's just hard to prove you have a lot of compensation. Like, one move off b6, and he was in a lot of trouble. So queen d3 is not the move. Rook f2, yeah, that makes sense. Knight xb2. Knight xb2, queen e2. E6. Oh, I guess I can't take due to the fact that I have he has g3. Yeah, I missed that. Knight a5, yeah. But then this now, I have a pretty comfortable edge. Knight b4, again, another blunder. Knight c7 was correct. I did consider knight c7, but... But after knight c7... He plays knight b7. Okay, this is still really complicated. Knight b4... Knight b7, g3. Yeah, at this point, we just started making move fast because we were under a lot of time pressure. And here, yeah, I was just trying to make threatening moves. And then the end game was winning. Yeah, this end game is a pretty simple win. He has no infiltration squares, and yeah, that was just it. So, yeah, pretty lucky game by me. 76 cent upon is not very good, but. I think I defended pretty well, other than, I think the main mistake, the engine says there's a lot of blunders here, but the main mistake I think it was after h5 playing h3, I basically was justifying h5, even though the only idea of h5 was to do this, so if I just chill with like knight d5, well knight d5 comes here, he comes here, 
yeah, rook b1, and then I pick up this pawn, or I play bishop c3 with an eye on this. So yeah, I just shouldn't justify when my opponent makes a bad move. That's just the lesson learned. So that's the end of today's video, guys. If you liked the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe, and goodbye!